Hi everyone, it's Judy. It's September 15, 2015. And um, things are getting tense with the bride. You know, everybody's on edge. We're all waiting and watching for the Lord. We're getting anxious. And uh, I just want to tell you a little bit of something that, um, you know, the Lord is is not going to come when we are um, expecting him. I mean, I got caught this morning on uh, listening to um, someone's website who uh, they were unraveling Bible codes. They made a prediction and they gave us a window of time when the Lord would be coming for the bride. And I have to admit, honestly, I fell into that. And, um, uh, you know, publicly, I want to apologize to the Lord uh, for getting caught in that because um, I'm going to tell you, I um, my husband was working in the city and I was all by myself. So I took my dog to the cemetery where my mother and brother are buried. And I figured, well, if the Lord was going to come, I wanted to go up with them. I didn't want to be by myself. And I sat there for a while. And then I said, what are you doing? I said, Jesus is not going to come and get you when you set the pace for where you want to be when he comes and gets you. He's going to come and get you wherever you are Whatever time he wants to come and get you, he's not going. You're not. You don't have any authority to position yourself for the coming. And I thought about this, and um, this was a very sad um, couple of hours for me because I felt like I fell. In, I I felt like I fell into um, deception. So, you know, I, I apologize to the Lord. And then this wasn't the end of it because there was somebody on Facebook who posted about this, the Kentucky uh, clerk, um, and it was an ad they put up and they were bad mouthing her. And, um, and I said to them, I got roped in. See, it was Satan roping me into a confrontation, but I didn't realize it right away. And I and I, I said that uh, these people that were all jumping on this clerk's back that they were godless, basically. And uh, then I posted a scripture of how God feels about, <clears throat> uh, you know, same-sex marriage. So I got it. I got roped into this confrontation. I mean, I didn't curse or I wasn't arrogant or anything like that. But uh, it wound up that somebody that I grew up with turned around and called me uh, white trash and an idiot. Okay, so uh, we kind of went back and forth a little bit, but I shouldn't have gotten roped into that anyway. Because what Satan was trying to do was get me to defend my position so that I could soil my garment. You see, Satan's attacking the bride. He wants to get the bride... Uh, through either retaliation or d being defensive or insecure or trying to prove something to uh, somebody who is vacant anyway. So, you know, all of this is, I see we're all under pressure here. We all can't wait to get off the planet. Okay. Uh, it, it, the evil is rising up so profoundly. It, to, it, when God speaks about people that don't have the eyes to see or the ears to hear or the nose to smell. You know, he talks about there's a scripture where he goes on and, and he explains that all their senses are numb. Well, you want to know something. When you're really, really righteous, you can smell demons in people. You can smell evil. And you feel repelled and repulsed by evil behavior and nasty slanderous people okay to the point where you just want to throw them out of your life okay how are you gonna it's very difficult to minister to these people it's I mean we're not Christ let's face it okay we're not Jesus Christ although we want to be and we emulate him and we pray I think you know it is the most difficult thing in the world is to separate the sin from the sinner in my opinion 
um, that's one of the biggest challenges that I have. And I really don't condemn the sinner. It's just that the sinner starts to put me in a defensive position. They corner you like a, like a rat. And that's the part that's difficult because how do you let somebody go after you and peck you, peck your eyes out without saying anything? So these days are critical. You know, we just, you know, they just saw the slice of the moon, the new moon. And we had something happen in the skies that was never, that never, ever happened. We had a double eclipse of the sun. Amazing. It, it was never, ever happened in in all humanity. I, I think NASA ca ca captured it. Um, I, I've only seen photographs. I didn't see any video of it. I'm sure there's something out there. But... Um, I wanted to tell you the assault that I'm under here. And I think that, you know, we're probably all of us are under the same assault. And maybe some of us, you know, are, are, are so much under assault that we just got acclimated to it. But um, I'm feeling it coming at me now. So um, I've even been thinking of like, you know, getting off Facebook for a while and just going into prayer because... Uh, I feel like that's a platform for Satan to uh, seduce me into some something I'm going to be uh, sorry about, you know. Uh, so I, although I do minister to people on my prayer group, uh, they would be suffering if I left. So I'm in a position here where if I if I jump off Facebook to to uh, protect myself, um, I'm actually not going to be feeding you know, the word to some people that are, that look forward to the prayers. So, uh, I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, I'm thinking that, you know, but before I watch any video now, I'm going to pray to God before I open the video and ask God if I'm supposed to see this video or not. And, um, ask him to give me, you know, the message, what, you know, what to view now, because it's very, very easy because we're in, an anticipated state to follow somebody who's offering us something that we want so much to happen. And that person is, a, could be a false prophet. So, you know, I just want, I just wanted to put that out there to you. I haven't been up for a couple of days and I'm working on something. Uh, I don't know if I'll have it done in time. I mean, the, you know, the rapture could come at any moment, but I'm working on something and, um, I just want to say hello and, and say God bless and I uh, love everybody and I hope that you're all doing okay. Okay? So, uh, God bless all of you. I love you. Shalom.